And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some zombie Tiana. This one looks like a spicy one. We are going to be playing a deck kind of built around Tiana Crown Guard. 8 mana 7-7 seven, seven with tough when I'm summoned rally. And that's what we're going to be trying to do is summon Tiana's and rally, get extra attacks. So we're going to have uh, Tiana out here. We're going to have the Harrowing that can bring Tiana back and also all sorts of other really impactful cards. Um, we have Fiora and Callista that are going to be our champions. Our deck's not really built around Fiora at all, uh, but our opponents are going to be really caring about Fiora, right? Like whenever we play Fiora, everybody tries to kill Fiora right away. And so that's what we're going to do is just have Fiora be a distraction. Callista, we're going to have um, out here and try to, you know, try to level up Callista if we can, because if we can have a leveled up Callista, this is like our our other like our main combo here. If we can level up Callista, and if we have a dead Tiana, then whenever we attack with Callista, then Callista will put in um, Tiana. And so then we'll get an, an additional attack step. Now, unfortunately, you don't get to just do that forever. You don't, you don't just get infinite attacks because it does say for Callista each round the first time I attack. I think that's kind of because of Tiana. They, they didn't want it to be infinite. But we can still have Callista attack, put in Tiana, and then we get another attack step. So that's pretty cool, too. And then we just got, like, some good cards. Chronicler of Ruin is going to be a good combo card of, like, being able to kill Ty uh, Tiana and bring Tiana back with Chronicler of Ruin. And then we get to Rally again. That's going to be important. Um, and that's kind of about it. We just got a little bit of removal um, and some Glimpse Beyonds besides that. All right, so we're going to be trying out Zombie Tiana. So here we go. We're playing against Aurelian Soul with... Demacia, so it should be dragons. Should be a bunch of dragons. So we got Callista. Kind of like Callista Redeemer. Radiant Guardian. Kind of like the sand. Um, so like we play Callista. Our first Callista dies. We Vanguard Redeemer, draw something else. We have Radiant Guardian that matches up pretty well against dragons. Cool, even have a Glimpse Beyond now. This hand obviously is really slow, but our, our deck is slow and our opponent's deck is also slow. So it's not like, like this is not a, a hand that, or like a deck that we like have to go look for, um, have to go boss. dig for our one and two drops. Me. Away, nope. Let's draw two. And both Callista and Fiora are basically the same thing to play right now. Um, yeah, I'm not really attacking with either. Play the Fiora just because, instead of the Callista. I mean, obviously against the Protector here, I wish I would have played Callista. But I played Fiora because it, I didn't allow them to play, like, the two mana 1-1. One, one. That's what I was kind of thinking. We shall not rest just have Repost this turn. Huh. Guess not. No Repost. Good chance that they also have Radiant Guardian. Virtue guides me. Yep. I fight for the fallen. I wish this was still repost. <laughs> Banish the unworthy. I will end this here. Oh hush. Burns on. I've trained my whole life for this. Virtue guides me. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. 
So Radiant Guardian's the biggest thing that has died as far as Callista goes. So we're going to have level up, we're going to have Callista level up and then Callista dies as a leveled up Callista. So now we'll have two Callistas die, but Callista is, will be leveled up. So for Harrowing, that'll bring back leveled up Callistas. And that gets a Radiant Guardian out. We're doing quite good in the card category in hand compared to, you know, comparatively. Like we could go, you know, we could go harrowing this turn, and we get uh, just one Callista. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, two Callistas. Those would both bring back Radiant Guardians. Tiana's gonna be pretty big. We don't get to take advantage of the rally part of Tiana right now. I guess that doesn't really matter that we don't take advantage of the rally part. It's just probably best to play Tiana, because even if you know if Tiana dies, that's good for my harrowing. We get to chronicler the Tiana. Discipline or death. They don't have Concerted Strike available. Hey James, good afternoon. Rally. Zombie Tiana. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. You are insignificant. Zombie Tiana, get him. The guilty will burn. I fight for the fallen. My sword is yours to command. Come hither, you beasts of glory. You will be scoured from this land. A waste of my time. So we have two Tianas with our harrowing right now. Burns on. Don't really want to see Aurelian Soul, of course. To us. Uh, I mean, I think. I mean, I would. I mean, with Harrowing, Genevieve Vance, the three are both very good. They both give all of your allies plus one plus one that round. Their pride will cost them. Being able to dictate how your opponent blocks, though, as you see with Genevieve, is really strong. I know, like with Harrowing, they'd be ephemeral, so they would die. But still, you can use that to your advantage. Still not playing other stuff. I long for a worthy opponent. We will not hesitate. Oh god. Try me. No mercy for heretics. So I can basically treat Harrowing as two Tianas, also. I can glimpse beyond one of these things. Alright, there we go. Too much value. And we're 1-0. Yes, Genevieve does work better with Callista than what Scythria does, because whenever, if you attack with Callista and put Scythria into play, you don't get any bonus. If you attack and put Genevieve into play, you don't get to challenge, but you do get the plus one, plus one bonus. Okay, playing against a more aggressive deck. Let's get rid of Tiana. We'll keep all of these. These will probably work pretty well together. Okay, I like having the Fiora where we can have... Because, um, you know, like, the Fleet Feather Tracker is going to die here. So, like, that's not going to help our Vanguard Redeemer. But we can play, like, Fiora on three. Maybe have it die on turn four. And then we get to Vanguard Redeemer. 
and then turn five we'll have our radiant guardian maybe we get the redeemer to die so then we get radiant guardian with single combat nothing like the stink of blood and sweat <laughs> i take it back i take it back i thought this deck was a jank file well it could be a jank file but we can also have some fun and, and win some games and have some powerful stuff. That was definitely a, a good win to start off. I Nothing wrong to have a, a jank file. Because, yeah, the six mana Cythria is, you know, an attack ability. And so if you bring it into play with Callista, it's already attacking, so you don't get the attack. You know, it's attack bonus. You don't get that attack bonus. That's such a great one drop, man. Petty Officer, awesome get a free card like that. Ooh. I guess I don't get to do anything cool with Fleet Feather Tracker. Maybe we do. I guess we can have the Fleet Feather Tracker die to for Vanguard Redeemer purposes. Nope. No blocks. Blocks. Going upstairs with the fervor. Going upstairs with the fervor. I've trained my whole life for this. Kalista. It is cool how Vanguard Redeemer does grab champions. Alright, uh, we don't get to see what we don't get to see what card they burned. I didn't see what card they burned, and I guess it doesn't tell you. Why no single combat there to stop Fervor? Because single combat can be more valuable with uh, Radiant Guardian. I really want them to attack and then I play Radiant Guardian. Just waste all this mana if I don't do anything, but I'm at 12. I guess we could just Radiant Guardian next turn. It's most likely that they attack, but if I if I pass and I have all of that mana, that is so much mana. Yeah, okay, they just, they just passed. I'm going to say that is so much mana. I knew I should have just challenged the three two. Yeah, I understand. That's why I want to get Radiant Guardian play and then have single combat and concerted strike with the Radiant Guardians to be able to heal my Nexus. That's my plan. Plan's not working too well. This will be quick. Yours to command. For the Fallen. That's not a card I'm playing, Radiant Guardian. What are you talking about? Aren't any gods here? Just me. Lock the doors. I'm playing Runeterra instead of MTG Craze Killer. Like a fish in water. All right. The Basically, whenever they do this, sleep with the fishes and put that on something. I was going to concerted strike that. That's a great draw. There's plenty of killing I fight for if I can play this and still have single combat up, that's great. Noxion Fervor, yep. Still get that thing out of here. Rough. 
So hopefully this is me healing my Nexus for 10. Depends a lot. That'll make it more difficult for them to kill me. And opponent agrees. GG's. Now, Zombie Anivia. We got the Zombie Mirror. The Zombie Mirror. Keep Callista. Send the rest back. See what else we get. A Fiora. Leading with Callista. Probably should fight these. Probably. Lame. <laughs> Lame. Can see the Debastian border from here. So now they, they do have six mana, so they have enough for an Anivia. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Head to the base. Oh, Can't fight on an empty stomach. Harsh winds. That's alright. Might as well. Yeah, you know, obviously like Ruination. It's not great against Ruination, but we are a harrowing deck. Remember the fall. Right, let's go Redeemer. Ooh. That's good, getting another redeemer. Nothing escapes my watch. Today we turn the tide of war. Yes. Tiana Crown Guard. I never hold back. Batter him! Oh god. Eat up, friend! <clears throat> so they do behold um, an 8 plus cost card. And I'm not I'm not gonna target the Fiora. I know I'm not like leveling up the Fiora or anything like that, but I'm not gonna target the Fiora. Because it's really easy to kill that Fiora with one health against the Shadow Isles deck. But I will trade my single combat for their top two cards. Not let them draw those two. So they get to draw two. So they just got a seven mana draw two. Alright, so Chronicler of Ruin is great with Tiana. Later, but I also kind of want to use it on the Fiora to level up Callista. I kind of want to do that. But no, I'm going to save it for the Tiana. Yeah, Twisted Tarek was pretty good yesterday. Got to do some really cool stuff with that. Take your place. We've much to do. At once, my lady. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Try me. We 
will not hesitate. It's true. I was kind of hesitating putting you in. So this is going to be pretty awesome for me. I mean, I get to go... It's going to be my attack turn next. I get to go straight to combat. They're at four. That's not very much life. I mean, I get to just go straight to combat. And then, even if they would, like, deal with some stuff, I don't know, like, some more harsh wins or whatever, then I'd have Chronicler of Ruin for the Tiana. So I could get another attack step. Ooh. Similar deck. But Trundle, Trindamir, probably a better deck than what we just played. Okay, we could keep Redeemer. We're going to be mulliganing the other three. Redeemer's been pretty good. We'll, we'll just keep the Redeemer. <laughs> so, you want Callista? Or how about a Callista? Maybe a Callista? We, we shall not rest until all of its rays <laughs> hey, what's up, Kinkles? Yeah, I came in on rank up Saturday. Yep, yep. Alright, gonna try to the draw two. There we go. And now we have just as many cards as they do in hand, but we also have a Callista, who's a 4-3, doing all the attacking. They are going to have more mana, though. We fight for one Freljord. This is an awkward turn. What's the deal with us drawing three in a row, right? We get like three Callistas in a row, now three Chronicle of Ruins. What's the deal with that? Feed Demacia! Our banner will lead the way! Oh, yes. Y'all are right. Biz subbed. We I have one sub today. I forgot to update that. Thank you. Go down, will you? I guess that was... This is already... Yeah. Yeah, because then this is turn five. Yeah, they have six mana. Right. King of Trolls. And they just have trouble anyway. Here we go. Here we go. Kind of planning on like them blocking, and then I have Black Spear. All right, well we'll just pass. That was cool. They just used that card and then didn't do anything else. That was nice of them. Adam, two awesome months with that resub. Thank you so much, there, Adam. There you go, keeping that sub goal alive, getting us up to two. Thank you very much. That's pretty cool. So I could do that again with Chronicler of Ruin on the Grizzled Ranger. I just don't have room for all of these units. That's kind of the problem. That would be a good move because then we would level up Callisto that could attack and put in another Grizzled Ranger. Like, that would all be awesome. But I don't have room. So if you don't have room, we should probably just go to attacks. I suppose. Okay. So we're going to want Callista to level up. Looks like there's no way to have Callista level up. Look up below. No, we're just going to let this happen. my whole life for this all right not the best card but at least we're not drawing that card we, we shall be treasonous us 
I thought about going Chronicler on the Badger Bear to make the Badger Bear a 3-4, and then I'd have the 3-4 and the 3-3. But going with the reason to go with Callista is that we can have Black Spear kill the Trundle. Uh, it's just kind of manic considerations. Thrash would be better than Fiora, but also um, Thrash costs 5, and the deck already has a really high curve. And so I think it's really hard to play Thrash because of that. This is our homeland! Still go Chronicler of Ruin on the Vanguard Redeemer and draw another unit. Perfect amount of mana for Chronicler of Ruin and Concerted Strike. All right, so if I do Concerted Strike that, I can have the Callista kill it first, then it turns into the 9-9, and then I do three damage to it, so it's a 9-6, and then they, then they challenge my Callista. It takes another four, so then it has two health. Meh. Let's go with leveled up Callista in case you find Harrowing. That was the worst case scenario for us whenever we had Concerted Strike was them having Trend of Air. to meet you too. I am planning on playing War Chefs. Smell that? A bite to cook it. I should have challenged the old one. You don't stand a chance. I kind of feel like they're just holding back vengeance. I should challenge the old one first. Like if I go single combat to try to take down Trundle, they're gonna vengeance. If I pass here, next turn I'll have double Concerted Strike and... Okay, or they had Warn Withering Well. Awesome. So we got double Concerted Strike available. If need be. Pledge yourself to our cause. Get no four. Many tribes under one banner. Yuck. So it'd probably be a pretty good spot to draw Tiana. For the thrill Ugh. of battle. 11 11. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. This is gonna be tough to finish out. I mean we we have three ti three Tianas and three Harrowings, and we haven't seen any of those. So we haven't seen our top end against a deck where we need our top end. Uh, that's just perfect.
Sweet life. Alright, three and one. I should challenge that 01 first, though. Instead of the 08. I just figured they were going to be playing something else, and they didn't. I should have forced them to. Well, Grizzled Ranger is a good card, but we're going to need earlier stuff. Okay, at least we have a Fiora. Hoping to find some something earlier. So we're talking about Flea Feather Tracker, War Chefs, and even Single Combat is still something that we could use our spell mana on that we're saving. So we're really looking for one of those three cards. No, I'm not looking for you to play those. Yeah, basically, so at the very beginning, whenever I did my scout attack with the 5-5, five five, they had an 8 and an 1 and so I could have challenged the 1 and killed it, and so then they would have had one less blocker. So then whenever I went to attacks, they were able to have the 1 just get in front of one of my units, and then they were able to just barely stay alive. My shield is yours. So that's that's what I messed up. I never hold back. Oh God. Um... I'm just going to challenge here, honestly. Like, they are a Bannerman deck and a Misfortune deck and, you know, Genevieve Elm Hartley. They have a lot of ways to, like, make that 3-2 bigger and make it better and, and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to trade. You know, we're a harrowing deck. We, I think we just want to trade. All right, let's mess some folks up. Especially with these Grizzled Rangers and... Ugh. Grizzled Rangers, Chronicler of Ruin. We can get a bunch of bodies out here. Now I've lost my place. Card I was not expecting, yeah, yeah, I'm up. but was still awesome. Okay, so here I do not want. So basically, you maybe think, why don't you just play the Grizzled Ranger and attack with the Grizzled Ranger? Because I want to keep Grizzled Ranger alive because of Chronicler of Ruin. I did not want Grizzled Ranger to die last turn because of this interaction. I need to keep one alive. Their pride will cost them. Please work. Please don't have single combat or anything. Or Rangers Resolve. Please work. Stop. You can't have all the, the spells. Your deck doesn't play very many spells. No. Alright, so that, that just kills my 3-3. Three, three. And it kills theirs, but still like, gives, you, you know, gives me one less blocker here. Um, that's okay. We're in a good... We're in an okay spot. Then we get to play Tiana next turn. I'll write my own story. Better stop having repose. Come on. Repose is so good. I'm sorry. They didn't attack with the 3-3, three, because three, if they attack with the 3-3, three, three, I block it with the 3-4. Okay, I'm still at 9. 
I'm, obvi I'm obviously worried of them going wide and killing me. Um, playing this on defense doesn't make that much sense, right? No, because we're not even getting Grizzled Rangers back. We get the Badger Bears. I shall lead the way. For the glory of Demacia. Onward to victory. That's eight damage. And I'm at nine. You picked the losing side. Just as I hypothesized. You chose poorly. What happens if I play this and attack? They have to block. I guess all of their things have to block. Yeah, actually, this is good. All their things have to block. I did play a scout deck just a few days ago, actually. I think like two days ago. Alright, cool. And we finished four and one. There's the link to the scout deck there, Guts. Well, there we go. That was crazy. Four and one with Zombie Tiana. I think it kind of showed that having really powerful top end is, is what's important in this format. And maybe not like the little small things curving out. We weren't really curving out that much, but we'd stop just... We just start dropping very powerful things. Our one loss, of course, was like Atrocity and Trindamir. That's obviously a really powerful top end. But yeah, that's pretty that's pretty awesome. Pretty competitive. Tiana Crown Guard, Harrowing. Um, this one was awesome. Uh, last time we played this deck, it also went 4-1, four, four said Phantom. Dang. Oh, update the score? Yes, I can do that. I don't take the score. I know we played this deck one other time. I didn't remember what the record was the last time. So yeah, this deck seemed to overperform. That's what I kind of kind of learning that like just the big Demacia Radiant Guardian decks are overperforming. Because we played this, and then remember the other day whenever we had um where is our other deck? Is it the Lucian Overwhelm? Yeah, this Lucian Overwhelm that just had a bunch of uh, was it this one? No, it wasn't this one. Never mind, sorry. Uh, Draven Swain. There you go, this one. Draven Swain. You know, big Radiant Guardian deck with, you know, something that looks like a really high curve. That looks like, man, how are we playing three, you know, three different three of five drops kind of thing. And it did really well. Um, and so then the, the same thing with our current deck. Um, with our zombie Tiana, you know, looks like we have a really high curve, like three, nine drops, three, eight drops, three, six drops, you know, five, five. It's like, man, that's so, so much, but it works, works out well. There's not a whole lot of aggro in the format, but the aggro that there is radiant guardian lets you do a great job of surviving against it and pulling ahead. And then you just have the power for other mid range decks. So yeah, really impressed with this. Yes, Thresh Thresh would be better than Fiora in this deck, but Thresh is just another five mana card, and I don't know if I don't know if you can go with that. You know, Fiora, our deck's not focused on you know winning with Fiora, as we saw with those games. You get Repost ever. Repost is an awesome spell. We saw that the last game. Glimpse Beyond was awesome, getting us that card advantage. Glimpse Beyond was really good. Of course, our removal is really good. Vanguard Redeem are pretty underrated. That one that one did some work. Um, Grizzled Ranger put in a lot of work. That's about all I got to say. Definitely impressed with how Zombie Tiana played. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. I always like seeing those comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.